Happy Monday, happy first day of the work week. Are we even counting firsts anymore? Is it all just started to blur together? I don't really know where you're at with it, but I do know that it is my intention to continue to pay attention to what it is that I can do and what I can learn. Because I think that the human spirit and the human ingenuity, our desire to innovate and make things better, is something that is working in our favor at this time. I know that this year is not wrapping up the way that we thought it would. We have encountered challenge after challenge and we have been pushed up against our limitations and that is exhausting. And so if you are exhausted, if you're feeling drained, if you're feeling like, you know, questioning Everything that is happening in your life personally and professionally is the only thing that you can keep doing. Uh, my heart goes out to you and I'm with you. But I also think that there is a way to look past the shadow side and to learn and look at what else is possible. I think this, this ability to create something out of out of nothing, out of really messy or muddy situations is uniquely human. I think you have got that ability, that drive, that innate desire, that want to make things better. And so if you are today, you know, finding yourself at your work desk, like I am, my work desk is in my sunroom. And prior to being able to actually work here um, today, I'll have to dusted off from the ashes that have been blowing through the air here in Sonoma County. So it's not normal. None of this feels normal. But I believe that inside of me, inside of you, inside of every single person is a spark, is a purpose, is a reason why we keep doing what we're doing and learning from the things that are not working and innovating that. So today, pay attention to what else is possible. Ask yourself how you might be able to take the things that are happening in your life and innovate them. So innovation is creating something new. But it's not necessarily brand new, right? It's not necessarily having to invent something that has not yet been invented. But rather, it is a way of maybe connecting or communicating what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. Perhaps an innovation is a way for you to be more present with your family, uh, with your loved ones, with your clients and your customers, with your team. Perhaps an innovation is to look at what have I been doing in my business so far that's worked for me and what is 2020 challenging in me. I realize that there are entire businesses that 2020 is sort of like wiped off the table. What else can you do? Maybe you're not going to be creating a new business within the next uh, few days or few weeks, but staying connected to what it is that you have learned, what it is that you're really good at, why you are working and why do you want to work? Why is work an expression of who you are and how do you want to express yourself? Those are questions that I think support us in connecting to our deeper purpose and also spark the the next good decision. Um, and you'd surprise yourself, right? What that might look like. Um, a lot of times in crisis, people come to us and they want to give us an answer. And I don't think that there is an answer, right? There is no formula here for every single one of us. That is part of what makes this so challenging. But there is a way to uh, learn from one another, to learn from what has happened this year, and to really utilize this next season to reassess and to reevaluate and to reconnect to why we're doing what we're doing, how we can do it better, how we can make that next good decision. Look, I know last year, a year ago at this time, people were starting to dream for 2020, right? Because 2020 had this, I mean, the highest expectations set upon it. Um, it was going to be just the perfect year. And, and nothing could be further from the truth. So you might sit here, uh, you know, th in this season and kind of hold back 
You may want to even be a little bit cynical about visioning or dreaming for the end of this year or for a next year. It's, it's okay if you find yourself be cynical, but be mindful that cynicism usually, you know, evolves and progresses into bitterness and you don't want to get bitter. And I think the antidote or the, the serum against bitterness is finding the things that you have learned and practicing gratitude for the things, not as they are, because that it's okay if they're, if they're garbage and they're, they're just shit and that's, that's all right. And you don't have to uh, throw flowers on it, but what are you learning from it? What, what is it, what has it shown you? Um, what are you, what are you finding to be good? Uh, whether it's something in a situation or something that you are, are discovering about yourself or your work, your team, your, your, your people that you're around. So don't get bitter. Um, allow yourself to get creative and allow yourself to learn from what it is that has happened in your life and in your business and just practice curiosity. Start with that. I'm curious to find out and hear about what you're curious about. I'm asking a lot of questions that start with what else is possible? What else is possible in my relationships? What else is possible in my way of communicating with you? How else can I uh, get closer to people that I want to be in business and in life with, given social distancing is literally preventing us from getting close? What other ways can I practice closeness to be, to be in front of people and to be with people and to support them, educate them, empower them, equip them? in the ways that they need to be supported. So those are questions that I'm asking uh, and will be asking throughout the month of October. My intention is to push past the limits, to learn from the limitations that I've encountered in myself and in my circumstances and to be, be beyond op optimistic, but really be actively engaged in the future that I want to create, not just for myself and my team and my clients, but for the generation that is to come after me. So that is what I'm looking at. I'm curious, what are you curious about?